All day, WCNC, NBC Charlotte has been taking care of our teachers. We have teamed up with Classroom Central, and they help local teachers and students by collecting and distributing free school supplies. Yeah, this is an organization that provides $5 million worth of free school supplies to more than 4,400 teachers in 199 schools. This is in the Charlotte area. Fred Shropshire and Sarah French are live at Lawrence Orr Elementary. And Fred and Sarah, teachers there, really excited to give this helping hand, especially before the new semester. Absolutely. The school supplies are always in need and they've been coming here since about three o'clock this afternoon. This is a well oiled machine too. lots of volunteers. The first thing they do is they sign up with they get with the personal shopper. We've got some of our sales representatives here from WCNC and they get to pick all these supplies. They've got everything from scissors and dry erase. Um, markers and pencils, toothbrushes, even personal items. And basically they go through this whole list with the personal shoppers. You can see it has exactly what they get. And when it's all said and done, you're talking about $400 worth of supplies. Unbelievable, really. And the kids here at Lawrence or Elementary are in the top 2%. So we wanted to do a little something extra for the teachers here. So we had a few surprises up our sleeves. Take a look. And as I keep reading, I'm going to think about whether I Agree or disagree? Well, think about that. Lawrence Elementary is not just a school, it's a home for students. So our teachers are committed to the work. Um, they are driven, they are focused. Most importantly, they are believers. We really believe in our children, um, regardless of their background or anything else. We are a place where we love on students, we have high expectations, and we make no excuses. We believe that all students are able to be learners. We believe that they all will exceed. Coming in, we had about 20%, 19% of our students performing at or above grade level. We have since tripled those scores, and uh, during the 2017-18 school year, um, we were able to uh, perform within the top 2% in the entire state. Excellent job. You make all your desks. As far as academic forward. growth measures go. So we're very, very proud of the work that our close to a thousand babies have done uh, over the past three school years, and now moving into our fourth year. I think the best part of the success is seeing the light in their eyes. I am proud to be here. I love this school. The kids that you guys have, what, what are some of the obstacles that they face? Well, um, I mean, there's so many different things that they face that happen before they even enter into our doors on a daily basis. They face a low socioeconomic status. They face um, the low expectations that society puts on them. They face um, the low belief in themselves that they come into it school with so those would be the things that I feel like we have to work against the most. Making sure that we are looking at the right people at the right time for the right reasons and aligning students and teachers um, throughout the day to make sure that not only are students learning uh, the, what we call the written curriculum but also the, the hidden curriculum. Um, you know some of those soft life skills, leadership skills. Um, so while we certainly are teaching our students to be readers and writers and mathematicians and scientists, we're also teaching them that they are leaders. Uh, in the community and that they are not to ever take second best and so that certainly shows up not just in the way that they come to school every day but it's now showing up uh, as well as um, in how they believe in themselves and our academic games. A teacher also makes learning not only helpful but fun too. They she are goes, all very amazing because that my know. teachers are the best teachers in the world. We want to thank our teachers today too, right? They've worked so hard. We have a brand new curate teacher's lounge. We also have a brand new microwave from Lowe's gift cards to the restaurant Chopped for all the teacher's assistants. Every single teacher is going to get a $100 gift card to Lowe's. I can tell you just walking in the door, listening to the principal talk, this is a very, very special group.
So I felt like Oprah. It was awesome. But they were so <laughs> deserving. And we have to thank everyone who donated. Also, Salsaritas gave a luncheon for the teachers and parties by the uh, by design. They um, set off the confetti cannon, oh, yeah. which the kids went they loved crazy it. for. So thank you, thank you to our teachers. We can't thank them enough. And like you said, they're so deserving. We wish we could do more. Mm -hmm. Be sure to stick around for the next 25 minutes. We have a special check presentation. You'll definitely want to see that. For now, we'll send it back to you, Bill Brook. You know, I think we need those confetti cannons in every school. I I'm know. sure teachers would endorse that. The smiles on all <laughs> yeah. of their faces. I think we should have them in every school, from kindergarten all the way through Maybe fifth not. grade. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, guys.